good. Morning, so I wanted to make waffles and I forgot to put my oats overnight to soak in my yoghurt. So about an hour and a half ago I put 50 grams of oats soaking in my favourite yoghurt and they look good to me. I don't think there'll be any problem making a waffle from that. So the next step is just to, oops, not make an S. <laughs> Whisk in a um, egg. I'm going to preheat my waffle machine, that's fair. And I'm just going to put a little sprinkle of uh, sweetener in. About a teaspoon or so. <clears throat> Okay, so that's ready to go in, all heated up, if we've got plenty on, I don't want it to stick and be a disaster like the last one I made. <laughs> got something quite exciting to make with this today, I'm really getting into the experimental side of mixing flavours together. and. Um, something I'm really looking forward to trying today. Just spread it out a little bit and close the lid. Okay so while that's cooking I'll get on with the next stage which is let's put that to one side. Um, <clears throat> I've got an apple. I'll quickly cut it in half. Just a regular eating apple. I think special. And oh Okay. I'm going to leave the skins on because I think that's quite nice. I'm just going to quickly slice it. <coughs> Hopefully not take my fingers off. <laughs> okay. And let's go into my pan here with some blueberries. I'm going to keep some of the apple for decoration at the end with some of the fresh blueberries. Oh, I'm not very good with the knife, am I? <laughs> but it does the job, it cuts it up, which is what I want. Okay, so a little splash of water and a little bit of sweetener, about a teaspoon. Then we put it on the hob to cook. Okay, so while that's heating up, what's next? Wow, this is part of my experiment. Let's wipe that over. I'm going to have to buy a new pestle and mortar. Keep moaning about it. I don't know if I've done my old one, but I will get one. So, this is the experiment. A few coriander seeds. Oh, waffle smells fantastic so far. I'm just going to crush them lightly, just to break open some of the flavour. Oh gosh, they smell absolutely fantastic. I couldn't make up my mind what to do today. Rhubarb and ginger, peach and apricot and uh, cinnamon. But I thought, no, I'm going to try something really, really different, and this is it, and it's exciting. Let's rub it backwards and forwards a little bit. Okay, so that's going into our fruit. And let it cook down. Smells absolutely <clears throat> fantastic. <coughs> okay, let that cook for a moment and I'll be back to you with an update in a moment. That smells amazing. So in the pan here, they're almost overdone, <laughs> it's five grams of flaked almonds, just a little a teaspoon or so of oats and some crushed coriander seeds and they're going to form a bit of decoration, extra taste for my fruit topping. 
and this is all cooked down beautifully the apple and blueberry and the crushed coriander seeds and sweetness of the sweetener looks great so um, yes is it done is it gonna work let's have a look oh I hate it when it sticks to the top but plenty um oh it's coming out yes huge huge relief <laughs> so I'll bring this over to my dish because the skillet is quite hot that's going on the top wow what a treat I didn't flavour the waffle because I thought the um, <clears throat> Alpro plain with the oats uh, got quite a vanilla flavour going on there naturally and um, I didn't think, all the other flavours going wrong, it would go very well. So I've kept the base quite plain. So uh, next we need a little bit of our Pro Light. I absolutely love this stuff. Let me just get my spoon. Drizzle it around. Well, sort of drizzle. I'm not an expert drizzler. <laughs> oh dear me. Maybe I need to do it from a high. There you go. That'll do. And the apple that I saved from earlier, that's going on here. Just go around the edge. Like so. Anywhere you want to decorate it. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you think. So um, I've got a few fresh blueberries to go to the side as well, just a couple each side. Doesn't it look lovely? Can't wait to eat it. And just a little bit of chopped fresh coriander and chilli. These might seem more very odd flavours, but I absolutely love sweet red hot chilli with um, with sweet foods. There we go. A few more of the seeds on top there. And my beautiful toasties, they're coming next. Oh my word. I am being spoiled this morning. <laughs> ah, look at that. If I say so myself, that is pretty special. Yum, yum. That will be my Tom Zoom. Lucky me. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed with that. So, get your flavours out, experiment with your combinations and make these recipes your own. I forgot to do a taste test and I think this dish deserves it, so here we go. Have a look. Gosh, it smells so pretty. Quite excited about trying it. Oh, that is just mind-blowingly really amazing. Oh, I'm in heaven. That tastes fantastic. <laughs>